Hi, this is Ryan Bizey, and today we're going to take a look at the new, I don't know, Force Lake 2.0 Solo 2-packs? What do we want to call this? It's for the new movie, so the new Solo movie line, but uh, these are the new 2-packs that were released on the yellow packaging, I guess we can go with. So next I'm going to take a look at these two 2-packs two that were released. Now, there's actually three 2-packs that came out in this um, packaging, but one was a re-release of Rose with the BB-8 and BB-9E droids. And so I didn't pick that one up because I already have it from the Last Jedi packaging. So let's go ahead and take a look at these. We're going to start with Lando and a very interesting looking Kessel Guard. So we'll look at Lando here first. He's got a very nice face sculpt. Uh, very good looking. Uh, he is straight arm, straight leg, so no stance there. Um, his cape is black. Pants are black, so we get a lot of black. Now his... Uh, cape and scarf are all one piece. They come off. Unlike the Black Series figure, it's all black on the inside as well, whereas the Black Series is blue. We can get a look at his uh, outer or his shirt here. Uh, he does come with his blaster, which does have a holster on his side that can uh, hold that blaster as well. All in all, a really nice figure. I hope we get a vintage version of this figure so that we get him um, super articulated, but still, it looks very good. Um, next we have the Kessel Guard, who's a very unique looking guy. I know we've seen, uh, like these gauntlets on somebody. I'm trying to remember who it is that we've seen gauntlets on. Uh, if you know, go ahead and comment below. I, I know there's another figure that's had gauntlets like this before. Uh, interesting helmet. Uh, not sure what all is going on here. And he's got a, some sort of skirt or, well... Uh, much like Kira, it's longer in the front than and shorter in the back. Don't know why. He's got a backpack, and you can see there's a little hole there. There is a notch on his weapon, and you can um, fit that right in. It's always hard to do one-handed here. Like so. There we go. And so you can just have that attached to the back. Very interesting looking figure. Be uh, cool to see how they work in the film. So also came with some sort of tripod blaster weapon. I'm assuming this is actually in the movie and not some made-up creation. Just because, you know, it's a lot like the E-Web from Empire Strikes Back. And that's got a hose attached to a box. Now, the hose isn't very flexible to begin with. So it kind of, like, the box is heavier. So it makes that fall over. But it's not a bad little blaster. It's all one color. No real movable parts or anything. But still, a nice little addition and extra piece for uh, this set. So here we have Qui-Gon and Darth Maul, two new versions of these figures. I'll pull them out so we can take a good look at them. So we have Qui-Gon and Darth Maul all opened up. Uh, Qui-Gon looks very good. Great face sculpt here. Nice paint application. Probably one of the better Qui-Gon heads we've gotten. Great detail even on the tabards and everything. And he has a little extra articulation in his hands. His hands... Uh, do rotate to give that extra bit of articulation, which is always nice for any action figure that uses a lightsaber. Um, it would have been nice to have maybe his robe with him or the uh, poncho, but still, it's a very cool looking figure. Very well done. Like I said, very good head sculpt on that. His head doesn't move a whole lot because of his hair, but that's okay. Darth Maul is two figures in one. So we get Darth Maul with uh, his cloak on. He has several accessories. So we have his lightsaber, which uh, does come apart into two, so you can do that. He has his uh, macro binoculars, which is probably the smallest set of macro binoculars he made for Maul yet. He had his little droid collar. This came on him, but it is removable. And then his cloak, his outer cloak, actually comes off. I'll show you what that looks like. So you get Darth Maul without the cloak, so you can do those last Naboo ba battles and everything. Nice uh, detail again on the outfit. Mine kind of seems to have a crazy eye. I didn't really look at him too closely. It's hard to see his face really well with the hood. But you see one eye doesn't quite look right there. A little crazy eyed. The horns look nice. Um, he does have rotation in, uh, in the arms here where the... Uh, Kind of the puffy sleeve meets the other sleeve. I don't know what to call that. The outer robes and the inner tunic or something. But he's got articulation in both arms that way. So you can do more with his lightsaber. The wrists are not articulated. Everything else is uh, the same. I don't get too excited about Darth Maul's because we got so many when Phantom Menace came out. And then still more after that. 
that I rarely get excited. I do like the cloak on this one. Um, I like that we, we get it as a piece like this that you could take off and put back on. And he does come with a probe droid. And the probe droid has a stand, um, was a separatist uh, emblem on the stand. And the stand is actually made so that you can, um, no, it's not gonna stay like that. But as you can see, it's kind of a ball joint in there. So, you know, you can have the probe uh, going any which way you want. Although I don't remember them really kind of tilting or anything, but still kind of a nice feature. So it's a nice, nice set on these. All in all, a nice set of two packs with some uh, brand new figures. Um, the interesting thing is so far, this is the only way to get a Lando three and three quarter inch action figure for the new movie. Again, no single pack on him and no other pack-ins actually. So as a look at those new two packs, uh, again, I was able to pick the stuff at Walmart uh, just because it was all up on the top shelf. I was able to ask somebody on the 13th, hey, can you get that down for me? And they did, and I was able to buy pretty much anything I wanted, which was very nice. I know a lot of people have had uh, different mileage and found empty pegs, nothing stocked, all of that. Uh, so hopefully you'll be able to find the stuff that you are looking for in the next week. Uh, if you like this, please subscribe. I like to do a lot of review videos while I'm hitting the new merchandise here. I'm still going back and hitting a lot of the larger vehicles that have come out in the past. Uh, I've even got a few vintage ideas in the, in the um, ways to come out here soon. So uh, leave your comments and questions if you have any below, and I hope you join me next time. Thank you so much for watching.